Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode, I believe it's 71. Uh, we'll see here in a second. Yep, of Let's Play Avernum Escape from the Pit. All right, so the last episode, I believe, was very successful for us. Um, we made a lot of money. We did some inventory uh, stuff. We lev uh, leveled up. So today, we are going to go try Chuckles' um, bounty. So let's go ahead and get right into that. Where are we going? Um, let's just make sure we've done this. Yeah, we did do that. And we did this, right? Yeah, okay. So Lord Chuckles is down here. Have I done... That's Patrick's Tower. What the heck is Lord Chuckles? Do we do this? You walk by a lot of bones in this secluded niche in the wall. You find what put them there. You can see a spherical creature floating by the west wall, followed by a group of insubstantial beings. You suspect that the floating creature might be a gazer, one of the far more dangerous denizens of the underworld. Although it has seen you with several of its many eyes, it doesn't seem to be in the mood for a fight. Considering how powerful these creatures are, this is a good thing. Let's attack. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, we tried this before and did not do too well. Oh, that's not a good hit. Yeah, this is going to be... Let's try to leg sweep it. This, this is going to be pretty tough. Vengeful shades are no joke. Look at that. Wow. Um, we can try Icy Rain, I suppose. I guess this is going to be a no-go. They're immune. Um, you drink a healing elixir. And then attack. I don't know. Maybe we can somehow pull it off. Um, acid shower. Okay, that's cool. And then attack. Battle frenzy. That's real bad. Yeah, we're not gonna survive this. Oof. Okay. Uh... Huh. Heal you. Um. Oh. Oh, it died from poison. Or from acid. But. The battle frenzy is going to be a little too much for us. Save, did we? Okay. So let's just go ahead and head to Lord Chuckles and see if we can maybe pull that out. Apparently that gazer. It's not so much the gazer, but the vengeful shades that are just next level. Some shopping. Um scroll return life. I mean, the more the better, right? We have 6,000 coins. And we 
we should probably divvy up those scrolls. Actually. So let's see, we have five. Pick up one for you. Pick up one for you. And pick up two for you. There we go. Nothing to do with Patrick's Tower. Um, being chased by bandits. Whatever. Let's just come in here. Let's go for it. Uh, wait, I think it's this one. Yep. And down. And in the hatch. Could be a gremlin here. No. Okay, there's our barrier. Oh, wait, where's the button? Is that the button? Who's got the button? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's come up here and there's a candle to make it easier. that button. The heck was that button? I thought it was up here somewhere. In here? Oh, it was in here, wasn't it? No? Yes. Let's see if we can even dispel this barrier. We cannot. Cannot dispel the barrier. So that does it for Lord Chuckle's idea. Hmm. Okay, so we can't do that. Um, we'll fight some bandits. Dab on them. A little icy rain. Gonna go ahead and light up a smoke here. chased us down, so. I don't know why I did that. Nice cleave. <laughs> Double. Cool. Nothing but some coins. Alright, cool. Did we do the gremlins here? We did. Alright, what about this place? You return to Alexi's camp bearing the message. Oh. He takes it from you eagerly. And here's your reward! I don't have any money, but I do have this. He pulls out a pair of gauntlets. I won these in a game of cards. The guys swore up and down they were magic. Well, even if they aren't, they're very nice. Take them with my compliments. Oh, he adds, thank you for saving my life. He quickly packs up camp and leaves to the east. Alexi's message quest complete and we got Tinker's Gloves. I do not remember that at all. And they are plus one to tool use. Hmm. Could come in handy in a, in a tight spot. Anything to do with this ruin yet? No. I guess there is nothing to do with the ruin. Okay, so... Let's see. Um, Darmon. Uh, this tall place here. Nothing. 
What about this? Some shopping. Oh, pretty average. Oh, this is the forge. Oh, we could actually... Have you upgrade to that? Minus 20% chance to hit. Oof. Now, since you're the defensive one, I'll give that to you. Let's go ahead and buy it. Blessed belt. Uh, probably not. Probably not necessary. None of this other stuff I don't see as necessary. Ratskin helmet. Uh, well. Steel helmet might be a good idea. For that 10% mind effect resist. Um. Blessed boots. They're pretty cheap. You're wearing them. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab the steel helmet. Not enough room in pack. Okay, you grab it. Okay, so we got two very nice pieces from the forge. We've got the blessed breastplate and the steel helmet. Now the rat skin helmet. He's a little over encumbered, but that's just because he's carrying so many crew jabs. Let's take like 13 of them and give them to McCroft. Uh, the Ratskin Helmet. Do it better. You have that. You have better, actually. You have better. So we can sell the rat. Well, we'll keep the Ratskin Helmet with her stuff. What did I want to do? You only have a bronze helmet. Should probably go ahead and get you a steel helmet, huh? Yeah, let's head back to the forge. And go ahead and get McCroft. Uh... Well, best we can do is iron helmet, which is not worth it. Steel greaves, reflective pants, blessed boots, no, blessed belt, no, no. Um, what about you? Iron steel gauntlets. Oh, there'd be an upgrade for you. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the Steel Greaves. Three more pounds. Dang, we're down to 1,700 coins. This is going to encumber her. Is she encumbered? I don't know. But that's good for now. Let's, um... She'll be fine. Let's go ahead and head into... Let's go see what's at the bazaar. Can't believe we spent all that money. Um, we didn't even buy anything from here. Rod of defense, shields nearby enemies. I like that. Uh, Tinker's bauble, plus one tool use. If anything, I would probably grab... Well, there's a little few things we could use here. The energy resist is very nice. But, uh... 
Let's head into this land past this fortress. Um, let's check the map. And it's, I want to do the Walking Dead. Where was the Walking Dead quest? Right there. So we have to come up through here. Fort Saffron. Alrighty. So there's still a lot of odds and ends that we haven't done and are going to be tricky. Uh, Commander Novak. Who do I sell to? I don't remember. Dilbert. Mona. Hmm. Is there maybe not somebody to sell to? Wow, there's nobody here. Huh, okay. Well, let's just head into the, uh... Contested lands here. The sign says, Beware of bandits. Banditry punishable by death. This large cavern has a few sparse patches of mold and mushrooms, but it's mostly rubble and bare stone. It's a barren no-man's land dividing the Great Cave from the Abyss and the Savage Regions to the north. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Meet a band of Avernite soldiers. As you explore this tunnel, their leader stops you. Be quiet, he whispers. We're setting an ambush for a group of bandits. They often travel down this path. You're adventurers, right? We have a tough fight ahead. We could use some assistance. You can help us out, or you could be cowards and flee. How about it? Help them out? You wait with the soldiers for several hours, sharing stale bread and discussing local politics. They suspect that the bandits are working for the Abyss, to the north, stealing goods from hardworking Avernites. Then, as promised, the bandits approach from the east. It's a good thing you decided to help. This small band of soldiers is clearly outclassed. Shoot, we might be too. Rogue mage. Now we got this. Um, Dak on him. Oh, almost a kill. Can you... Come up and just kill that one. Oh, no. Don't let those mages go. Little icy rain. Boom. Mm. Just hit my water bottle. I want to do this without any losses. on him. Hmm. Uh, I think there's some in there. That looks like something cool on the ground. I don't know. Hmm. These ones. Gotta save this person over here. Da. 
attack on him. Um. Double. Double kill. That guy's gotta be terrified. Boom. Okay, uh, spiritual herbs. A fine robe and dagger and a short sword. You are victorious, although several of the soldiers are grievously wounded. After thanking you for your help, they gather up their supplies and chart a speedy course back to the safety of Fort Spire. Hmm. We're in the Abyssal Chasm. Alright, can you use the steel breastplate? You can. Yeah, we'll put that on. And this iron one can just be sold. Uh... Does everybody have everything on that they want? You're keeping the tinkerer's gloves. <laughs> she seemed okay, that battle. Oh. Bandit Lair. Huh. We can do a bandit lair. You sneak into the lair of a group of bandits. Amazingly, you have managed to obtain entry without being seen. You can hear a group of rogues just around the corner drinking and singing a body bandit song. They're as hardy as the Slith. Yeah, maybe not. Mm. A sharpshooter. That's different. She doesn't seem encumbered or anything. Um, we're on shore swords. Looking for buttons. Cable with longbow. It's a nice find. on some rope. They're building something over here. What? Oh, raider with a name. Uh, give him the immobile and weakness curse. Yes. Um, haste up and battle frenzy. Nice. Yeah, this guy's pretty tough. In terms of health, anyway. He's terrified, though. Don't run. Nice. A scroll of recovery. Who uses these? You do, right? Yeah. Which we have not had to use yet, but are very valuable in terms of what they potentially could do in combat. I mean, just what they do in general. Let's come down this way. A 
cultist. An assassin. Oh. Perfect for some icy rain. Oh no! Dang. Kind of treated that nonchalantly. Um. Come in and dab on the assassin. You go ahead and dab on the assassin. You go ahead and hit them with a little icy rain. A greater shade. Dang, bows that hit multiple targets. Whoa! We gotta be a little careful here. Nice. Sharpshooter's pretty tough. Alright, we need some first aid there. Dang. Alright, ten copper. Three ales. A chainmail vest. What was that? Ratskin helmet. A chainmail vest. Nice. Okay, so this is a little more on level than the last couple areas we've been to. So let's take a little bit of precaution here. A soldier. Assassin. Dang. Alright, let's hit him right there. Almost get that mage out of there. They're coming out of that door. Uh no. You fool. Dad them? No. Oh, there's an assassin standing there. What am I doing? Epic fail. Now we're all over the place. You have to heal. We're compromised. Come back here. Um, daff on him. Stunned. Okay. Uh, how about icy right in there. Still stunned. They're having a hard time hitting out to us though, comparatively. Nice. You're terrified as well you should be. Assassins are pretty tough too. You're active, finally. Attack him. Assassins can actually do some damage. Um, there we go. Oh, what are you? A cultist. And you're punching. Okay. Ooh, that hurt. is healed. Uh. Dab on him. Oh, went the wrong way. Okay. Dang. 
Tipsy little fight, though. In terms of the logistics of it, very fun. Coltis didn't drop anything. Nobody really dropped anything. A meat. That's worth money. 25 apiece. We have how many meats? 550 coins worth. Trash in there. Uh, any pincers? No pincers. More meat. Bread we don't want. None of that stuff we want. Oh, pictures and stuff. Nada. A box with, ooh, iron short sword. Crude short sword and iron dagger. Okay, let's come down here. And uh, we'll go across here. Maybe come into here. Looks like a much easier battle. Sharpshooter, though. Might be a couple of them in there. Yep. them as well. Six. Ah, uh, the acid got him. And she is encumbered, but I don't think it's doing a major disadvantage to her. Uh, another ratskin helmet. Which now that we've kind of outgrown the ratskin helmet, they're tossing them to us. Like, they're just junk. Uh, crude dagger. Fine cloak. This stuff will eventually drop anyway. Three iron bars. Seven copper. Fifty-seven gold. Crude jav. We're gonna have to start investing into um, strong back and stuff so we can carry more gear without being encumbered and stuff like that. We have neglected those traits thus far because we haven't needed them, but we'll be needing them now. Ooh, five copper, 51 gold, 30 silver. So, um, yeah, we will definitely be doing that. Oh, iron shield, missed that. So far, so good. Picking up some goodies. Um, anything here? So we've got a chest. Oh, lovely crystal. I always love finding bolts of cloth, even though we haven't found who to give them to. If there's a, if there's anybody. Hmm. Now we're in their garbage area. Which is always interesting. Yeah, an experimental rat and a brain rat. Let's get that brain rat. I'll go dab on the experimental rat. Wow, they're kind of tough. You dab as well. Nothing that a icy rain couldn't maybe fix. Oh. No, don't charm. That's why I wanted to get rid of that brain rat. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go.
Hmm. I uh, could have. Icy rain them. That works. Looks like we've got nothing on the ground. Nothing up here. Nothing at all. No goodies. Huh. Oh, there's a body here. Very hard to see. Tools, uh, I guess. And blessed boots. Hmm. You're using clover boots, yeah. Nobody can really use those. Okay, but nice little find. Worth some money. Continue up in this direction. Let them come to us. Uh, haste. And battle frenzy. <laughs> Um, go ahead and do a flawless shot on you. Oh, a rogue enchanter. That might be a little tough. And an assassin. And a dark cultist. the enchanter and so my plan of defense over offense for Alduis is working fairly well pretty tough cookies here to heal and a vengeful shade the leader of these bandits steps out of her private chambers to confront you her armor is torn and battered and you note she has sewed on the shoulder the crown insignia of the empire I am Alara, warrior for the empire I will fight for our mighty emperor whether he wants me to or not you worms have grown too strong, and I have done what little I can to keep you weak. At last, I can slay you personally. Then we will leave here and continue our great work. Hmm. Bandit Chief Alara. Interesting. Uh... Let's park that down here. This is not going to be that easy. At all. Okay. She doesn't have battle frenzy or haste anymore. You are getting rocked by a dark cultist, sharpshooter. Uh Let's go ahead and use a healing elixir. And then... Go day on him. Oh. Okay, Dak. Yes, attack us. Please. Dang. Um... Little icy rain on them. Oh, we're out of haste. And then dab on the vengeful shade. Really gotta go up there and get them. Uh what can we hit them with? I want a basilisk wand fang. 
Fang won. It's done resist, but didn't do a bad job. Um, Yikes. She dies, it's all over. Um, Heal. That does not fit into my plans. Dang you, dark cultist. And a vengeful one. Come down here. Oh no. Wow. Um. You know what? I'm going to. this up. Mm. I rolled the dice there. Uh, this vengeful shade. Do you have 13? Um, attack and then mass healing. Oh wow, we're getting rocked. You drink another healing potion and then maybe kill. Oh, missed. Shoot. We're getting rocked. Icy brain, maybe? Immune, miss. Can we kill you, Dak? Yes. Okay. Now. Go get that dark cultist. You, mass healing, can return life. Oh, she can return life now, that's good. Dab on the vengeful shade. Earthquake. Wow. Um, ensnaring one in that direction. And back here. Hmm. Wow. Heal Marion and Icy sh Rain on them. Hmm? Missed. Uh, come on. Die. So hard to take out. Uh, Massey, we don't have a ward or a freaking cloak up. Unbelievable. Dab. Our haste is worn out. Our battle frenzy is worn out. Um. <sighs> Heal Marion. should be using oh wow focus spirit focus is the spirit of the warrior helping you shake off the cowardly curses and poisons of your foes cures three hostile effects even he can blade sweep leg sweep shield breaker uh, he should be using that Let's check 
is still tough. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I should be using heal too. Oh my gosh. So many little things that I'm neglecting. Bandit Chief. Super tough chick. Dang. I don't know why he's so hasty. Look at this. The leader of this tribe of bandits has fallen. Her negligible, delusional guerrilla campaign against the Vernum has come to an end. Yeah, baby. Nice. A purging crystal. Which is for you. A fine robe. Looks like we'll be able to carry everything. A basalt, basalt band. 8% armor, 10% faster fatigue, and 5% hostile effect resistance. Worth 2,000. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see who can use it. Probably you. Another minus 10% to hit chance, though, but that's okay. Do that. You have a shield ring still. Uh, grab the shield ring. Uh, gold necklace. Scroll of group heal. Beautiful. Some stuff up here. An iron shield. A chainmail vest, a gold ring. Among stuff up here. I mean, here there's a button. Stuff on the table. Seven copper, 23 silver. One of Kronos, good sellable item. An emerald. Alchemical equipment. Tongs, not pincers. Herbs. We're going to eventually need to make more potions. It's in the desk. 31 silver, a flawed crystal. Uh, healing potion. What is that? Broken bit of husk. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I have no clue what it is, but I took it. Um, another gold ring. Oh my goodness. Another healing potion. 96 gold, 8 copper, and a fine cloak. We have two slots left for possible anything we find. This is awesome. It's F3. Go down this way. Hmm, is there something big in here? Oh, more experimental rats. Popping slime. Pustulant rat. Experimental rat. Experimental pustulant. Okay, well. Uh, can see if we can do this. I don't know. Um, let's come in and... Dab on him. Oh, okay. The Pushlins ones are pretty hard. Uh, come in and... Oh, the popping slimes turn into draining slimes. Three of them. That's not so cool. Uh, icy rain on the whole lot. At least icy rain is going to be effective, but... Um, let's see. Drink a health potion.
Explosion and attack. Rapid slime. That was probably a bad move. Uh, this icy rain is perfect for this. Um. Oh, they're falling from the ceiling? Oh my gosh. It's like the perfect size for that. <laughs> Beautiful. Stay alive, please. Oh no, no. Oh my gosh. Uh. Dang. Okay, but well we still may be able to do it. Yeah. Uh, three pillars and all bones and stuff. Um, she probably has to be alive for this. Let's use one of your two. Just get it over and done with. There's a thick book on this pedestal. The thick papyrus pages are covered with dense, strange writing. Improve your knowledge of the spell. Icy rain. Wow. Let's see what it does now. 15% bonus. Immobile for three turns. 40% chance. I don't know if it had that before. I don't think so. Another thick book with thick papyrus pages covered with dense, strange writings. The pages of this book are unreadable. The moisture in this chamber has smeared most of the words. Maybe you could do something to make the words readable. You aren't sure what. Thick book on the pedestal. Thick papyrus pages covered with dense, strange writing. The book itself is unreadable. The moisture of the chamber has smeared the pages. However, several interesting pieces of paper have been hidden in the back. They are letters from someone named Mina, giving instruction to the thieves who live there. They have been instructed to raid as many supplies as possible from the Great Cave and to take them to the Abyss to the north. The letters make it clear that they should avoid taking life in their travels, but if someone gets killed, it's not a big deal. This is interesting information. You take note of it. Hmm. Could I maybe... Can I maybe bolt a fire? No. got icy rain we got a, f a full inventory of loot the bandit leader is dead hooray all around um, looks like there still could possibly be a button somewhere Alrighty. That is this cave vanquished. Huh? Oh, there's some rogues on the way out. Hmm, quite a few. And some rope magi. Dad on. Mo 
available. That is a pretty nifty curse there. To inflict with a magic spell. Nasty. Just nasty. Okay. Um, a healing elixir. Nice. I think she used one. No, you need one. A fine robe. A healing elixir. Take another one and a chain. Look at this. We found enough loot to perfectly fill up our inventory. Oh, but here's a, an archer to screw it up. Ooh, level up again. Nope, that's it. Perfect inventory. Perfect stuff. Um, let's F3, see who we were working for. For the bandit, the bandit thing. Um... Huh, was there not a quest there? Were you just a random bandit lair? Oh, investigate bandits. Okay, who gave us investigate bandits? Mayor Debray of Darman. Okay, we'll head back that way. Um, let's see how long we've been playing. 57 minutes. Apologies for the long episode. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. Next time we'll unload this loot see how much money we make and we'll uh, report to the mayor of Darman and get our prize so appreciate you guys hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you're enjoying the lp much more to come we are just scratching the surface of the abyssal chasm now so that's going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned for that much love peace and joy guys thanks so much for watching i'll catch you next time with more Bye bye